Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us uh, uh, see today how Muslims they can help us. The title is so clear. Not a single Muslim can tell us what Allah, their God, name means. We invite all the Muslims to participate to show us what Allah means. We are willing to play for you any 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 video from any Muslim you choose explain what Allah mean and you will find that each one of them give you different answer different definition different they say to you is God we know that I mean I'm not asking you for his job they say he is the creator hello I'm not asking you what you think he can do even though I don't believe he is a creator of anything I'm asking who is Allah which mean the name which is given to Allah, he referred to himself supposedly by Allah. Or you Muslims, you call him Allah. The Muslim, they will say, no, he called himself Allah. Okay, what Allah means. Let us see our beloved friend, Zakir Naik, the most educated person in history about Islam. Okay. So uh, this non-Muslim sister, she does not want to disclose her identity. Welcome. You, without disclosing her identity, she can ask a question. She is a student of MBA. She asks, why is Allah referred to Allah? Why not any other name? The sister has asked the question that why is Allah referred to as Allah and why not other names? The reply is given in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 110, where it's mentioned in the Quran. I am Rahman, I am Matadu, Fala Al Asma Husna. Say, call upon him by Allah or call upon him by Allah. Hold on, hold on. Did, did, did you just read the verse in Arabic now? What is that? This is what the verse is saying in Arabic? Say it again, please. Hey, Arab people, listen carefully. This is your Zakir Naik, your Sheikh. If you are an Arab, die would be laughing. Look, look at this. Allah, why not any other name? The sister has asked the question that why is Allah referred to as Allah and why not other names? The reply is given in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 110, where it's mentioned in the Quran. Qul idullah abidur rahman ayamata du fala al asma husna. Okay, now we will let him finish and then we will show you that the verse he gave us proved that Muslims do not know and Muhammad himself is a fake prophet. Again, the challenge is a standing. We are playing for you how the Muslims they go around the question. She asked you why is called Allah. You give her a verse from the Quran saying Allah, he says you call him Allah, you call him Ar Rahman. What is the answer? What is the answer? And then he says all the good names belong to Allah. Is that including Trump? Michael Jackson? We will go to that verse he mentioned. And by the way, I will do my best to keep this video short because we want to keep it a challenge. And we will wait for the Muslims to post their answer in the comment section. And you will see not a single Muslim. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for all the Muslims from the east to the west. To tell us what Allah means. Not a single one of them knew. And don't give me your own definition. If you want to give me something, say the Prophet say, this is me. Or Allah, he said, this is what my name means. Give me a reference, give me a book, book name, give me a page number. Don't give me your garbage. Don't give me, tell me he is the creator. Unless your prophet says Allah means the creator, then show it to me. Now, Zakir Naik is quoting the Quran, and the verse he quote for us proved that Muhammad is a fraud, and we will show you why. Say, call upon him by Allah, or call upon him by Rahman. By which See, you call him Allah, or you call him Al Rahman. What is this is about? When, when the Muhammadan, when Muhammad, uh, he decided, he wrote a letter. He wrote a letter.
And he said, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. This is the chapter he posed in he quote for us. When Muhammad he said the word Ar Rahman, the Arab they said to him, Who is Ar Rahman? Muhammad he have a new God name. Because he never called him Ar Rahman. And this is what the respond for a person who claimed that he is worshipping Ar Rahman and he himself is Ar Rahman. Rahman al Yamama. So they said to Muhammad, how come you are not calling him Allah? You are adding him just a new name, saying he's a Rahman. And look what Muhammad said to them. Allah told me to say that to you. Say, you call upon Allah or call upon Rahman by whatever name you call him. For him, all the name, all, all the beautiful names belong to him. <laughs> but if you notice with me, Muhammad, since he became a prophet, until that day, he never said that word Rahman. Until the day when? Until the day the guy who worshipped the God Rahman, and he called himself Rahman al-Yamama, he sent him a letter saying, in the name of Rahman. So Muhammad, he said to him, in the name of Allah al-Rahman. Now let us show you the reference, just to show you that this Zakir Naik is a Zuzu. He do not know what he's talking about. Let us go to Zuzu reference. All of them, they are Zuzu. They have no idea. Copy paste. The religion of copy cut paste, not even copy paste. I wish it's a copy paste. It's just a copy cut. So if we go here, let us see, give me a second to open the inter 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 interpretation. All right. And you can tell me to open any interpretation for you, Muslims. And remember, this is your interpretation, not me. So don't say Christian Prince is lying. I am just showing to you what you Muslims believe about this verse. Nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with it. This is what you say. This is what you wrote. This is what you explained. So don't cry and leave my beard alone. So if we go here and let us put it on the screen for you. Give me a second. Read carefully. He kept saying in his prostration, O oh, beneficent, O oh, merciful. And so the idolaters said, Muhammad used to call into Allah, one Allah, and now he is calling into two gods. Allah and the beneficent. <laughs> now, why the Arab they say that? I mean, do, do the Arab they knew the word Rahman mean? They knew. Look at this. And they said, we do not know of anyone by the name of the Rahman except the Rahman of Al Yamama. And that is a person, the Muslim, they call him the liar. So, Muhammad, he copied a name of a person. The Muslim, they call him liar. He copied his name and make him God for him. So Allah the Exalted, he revealed the verse saying, oh, you call me Allah or you call me Ar-Rahman, all good names belong to me. So the good name was belonged to the liar and now it belongs to you, you hijack it. So here you see, when this man, Rahman al Yamama, I read here carefully about it, it says, after which he wrote, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, the Arab idolater then commented, we know the merciful, Ar-Rahman, uh, we know Ar-Rahim, but we do not know who is Ar-Rahman. As a respond Allah, he said, and he revealed this word, you know? Okay. Now, where is the answer about what Ar-Rahman, what Allah mean? Why Zakir Naik is giving us a verse have nothing to do with the answer? What you gave us is a clear proof that Muhammad, 
He adopt any God name to make him his God so he can get more supporters. There's a group of people, they follow this man, he claimed to be a prophet, he worship a God, his name is Rahman, and he call himself Rahman too. And then you take his the God name, his God name, and you put it to yourself. Now still we are waiting for the answer. Do you think Zach and Nike have an answer? But the Tatar, Allah is the Quran. If you call him Allah or you call him Rahman, what does have to do the question? What does have to do with the question? If we go to the Quran, the Quran of Allah, all right, the Quran, and then we go to an option, it's called trans, uh, trans what? No, not transgender, something else. Trans. Trans 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 tertation trans tertation. Read with me carefully in chapter one, verse number one and verse number two. Let us zoom in. This is how Muslims from Pakistan, not Pakistan, when they read the Quran for you, they sound like they knew Arabic, but they don't. They are reading this. Bismillahi lahmani lahimi. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamina. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahimi. <laughs> they don't know Arabic. <laughs> they read this. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this to show you what Allah present. Look at this. Bism. This is the last I at the end. This is like a kasra. It's not a letter. So forget about the, uh, uh, the things you see in the end. Bismi Allahi. This is the I at the end. The I, letter I. This is not in the word. This is like uh, 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 what they call it in English. It's like a you know movement, like you say e a, like uh, uh, the, the you add you add the movement to the letter, a sound to the it's a sound. So bism al la la. Let us let us show you, show you, let's show you. Even the Muslim themselves, they admit that this is the the, the the name of their God is not Allah. Look with me. Bismi la 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 la. <laughs> here alhamdulillah li in arabic mean two so the this is the first one the first l i is two then la as we said the last i at the end is not part of the word this is a sound so alhamdu alhamdu mean thanks all thanks to li is equal to two La, that is the name of their God. Any Muslim have an objection? So Muslims they call their God. You ask any Muslim what's your name? What God name? is Allah. You, you idiot! No, it says La. It's in front of you. So uh, this is why you see here in the first uh, word Allah as written as one word. Right, and then you see the second one. There's a missing alif in the beginning, a missing letter. What happened? You cannot take a letter out of the name of God. If this is a name, correct? You can take it off if it's not. It's additional. Always you can. You cannot take. You can add. You cannot add some things to names, and you cannot take things from names. It's a name. So, Allah in Arabic, the word A L today, in Arabic today. Let us type for you in the screen. Equal to the, but this is in Arabic today. L is equal to the, but in the old Aramaic and the old Hebrew, L is a word meaning God. L is a word mean. God. So Allah mean God Lah. So verse number one saying in the name of God Lah. Verse number two saying the following. Alhamdulillah. Hmm? Lah. All thanks to Lah. 
Now the question who is lah? You will ask a bunch of idiots. We saw them in YouTube, including some Christians who call themselves Christians. They asked them, do the Muslim worship the moon god? He says, no, the verse in the Quran says, don't worship the moon, you idiot. The moon god is not the moon donkey. I mean, where those people are coming from? And this is what even Christian, they ask them questions. Be careful, Christians. Those are those people, they have no specialty in that field. If you go in the Quran, let us take a screenshot for this. So we do not need to write it again if we move the page. Smile Allah. Perfect. I will go to different verse in the Quran. I remember I have to keep the video short. And this is this time I'm very serious and short for me you know it's not going to be too like short like other people when they say short but short I mean compared to what Christian friends usually do in chapter 53 chapter 53 you know when they ask uh, James White I suppose he's a Christian uh, do the Muslim worship the moon God? He says, no, there's a verse that says, uh, don't worship the moon. Idiot, idiot. Where this guy is coming from? I mean, usually people who they are bold are smart. Chapter 53, verse number 49. Look what it says. He is the Lord of Sirius. Do you understand now what the moon God he mean, you idiot? So there's gods in the Arabian Peninsula. The God of the moon, the God of the sun, the God of Ceres. Muhammad saying to them, My God is Rabbu Shara. Or Shara. So, he is the God of that planet you worship. In different chapter, Muhammad, he made it even more clear. There's a chapter, it's called an najm And he invite his cousin, a Najm in the star. He said to his cousin, Worship Allah, the God of the Najm. He said to him, I'm not going to worship the God of the Najm. So what Muhammad, he said to him, Aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog and eat you? And we can show you the reference too, so Muslims will not say. So when Muhammad, he said, In the story when Najmu Ida Hawa, let us go back, hold on. See, the name of the chapter is a Najm, which means the star. Allah swear by the star when it goes down. Now you see like what this is, what this is mean. I mean, what kind of God he swear by star going down? There's no stars goes down. There's no stars goes down. This is the meteor. So Muhammad, he think those are foreign stars. And Muhammad is speaking about that his God is the God of those stars. And Allah, he sent those stars to shoot the shaitan in his anus if he tried to get it close to the, to the to the heaven. Or we can find that reference. And by the way, you can go and read the story here about this, where Allah, where the cousin of Muhammad, he refused to believe in the God of the star, Allah. And then Muhammad, he said to him, 
Aren't you afraid Allah will send you his dog to eat you? And yes, my friends, Allah, he has a dog and he will eat you. And this is the link and this is the reference and this is Tafsir Al-Tabari. Lucy, wanna debate me? Is that the name of a poopoo, -poo, like a dog or something? Lucy, get your shake to debate me, Lucy. I have no time for Lucy's. Chapter 22, verse number four, page number 493. All right? So he said to him, worship the God of the star. He said, I'm not going to worship him. He said to him, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? <laughs> and if you use Google translation, you will see what I'm talking about, brother. Dog. This God have a dog, he will eat you, brother. Is it a big dog? Be aware not to be eaten by the dog of Allah. <laughs> Muhammad said to his cousin. <laughs> so why you don't disbelieve in the star, in the God of the star? Huh? His cousin, he said, I don't want to believe in the God of the star. I don't want to be pagan like you. Muhammad try to scare him. He says, aren't you afraid that Allah will send you his dog to eat you? What a great cult. Now, Muhammad claimed that his God is the one who appeared with those stars. This is why Muhammad, he says, Allah, he come down every third of the night. In the third part of the night, coming down to the lowest heaven, where, where the stars are located. Remember, the Quran says clearly that the stars are located in the lowest heaven. In case you don't have a good memory, we can refresh your memory. Uh, <clears throat> In chapter 67, it says, verse number five, and we adorned the lowest heaven with lamps, and we made such lamps as missiles to drive away the shaitan. Do you see why the lamps are made for? Shaitan, he live in the earth. And Allah, he shoot the shaitan in his anus if he tried to get close to Allah. But now why shaitan he do that? What Allah is trying to do, he is protecting his security because shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah. Pure science, chapter 15, verse number 18. Star War movie. Allah is shooting the shaitan. And shaitan screaming his anus is burning. Shaitan and star going inside your anus. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion? And they say to us Quran and science and the garbage. Now going back to our topic. All evidence leave, lead, lead us that Muslims they worship a god. They themselves do not know what they are worshipping. They are just copy paste. They have no idea what they are worshipping. And this is why none of them dare to call me and say, I want to debate you. Let us see who is the one who have the right information or not. They don't, they don't dare because whatever they say, they will be humiliated with their ignorance. The question remain: What Allah Ah Al A L La mean. Any Muslim knows? Take you to your uh, additional information. 
Muslims do not know anything about names as an example because Islam is a theft Islam is a theft is a theft of other beliefs so they stole the name of Allah or Allah from different culture from different even nation this is not even an Arabic word this is why they don't know what it means if you ask a Muslim okay the Quran says Ibrahim what Ibrahim they don't know Isa what Isa mean they don't know uh, Masih, they give you. Do you know that the word Masih, according to some Muslims, they say that's mean he because he have a flat feet. The Messiah have a flat feet. So, so God, he call Allah. Suppose the God of Muslim call him the Messiah. He the flat feet guy. <laughs> they don't know what it means, so they they have to come to a solution. What Israel mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? They don't know. Okay, Jibreel, they don't know. They don't know. For all of Islam is a collection of other beliefs. It is false, it is demonic, it is hypocrite, it is pagan, it's a black stone kissing, it is what it is, collection of other religions. The people they go to Hajj in the temple of Al Makkah, Al Makkah in Yemen. The Muslim they created Makkah in the Arabian Peninsula, so nobody will go there. And the Muslims are the pagan themselves. It's not, you know, the Muslim they say to you, brothers, sisters, the Arab pagans, they will not tell you that the Arab pagans they are worshipping Allah. This is why the Quran called them Mushrikeen. Mushrikeen, what does that mean? It means they worship Allah, but they associate with Allah other God. You see all of this Mushrikeen, Mushrikeen, look how many verses, Mushrikeen. So they confirm that Muslims and the pagan, they worship the same exact God. And then there's a question you ask yourself, and you have to ask yourself. When the Muslim, they say, the polytheist. Hmm? The polytheist. How those are pagan then? because they are worshiping Allah at the end of the day. And those polytheists, they believe Allah is the big God and the rest are just middlemen between him and them. But the Muslim believe in the same thing. What the Muslim they did, they replace the three daughters of Allah. By Muhammad, Muhammad became the middle person and then we need to ask ourselves what made the Arab believe that Allah he have three daughters where this is coming from everything have a reason and then when Muhammad he came Muhammad is anti female person he don't believe that god should be a female god should be a male so he said to them what allah told me what you for you the male sex and for him the female have you ever heard of a stupid logic so the god of islam wanted to prove to the arab that this is not good for you you have sons and for me i have daughters <laughs> And not only that, he said to them, this is unfair. <laughs> and here, this is a proof, by the way, that when the Mohammedan, they say to you that the Arab, they used to kill their daughters, they used to humiliate, they used to discriminate women. I mean, look at this garbage. Look at this lie. The Arab, they are worshipping females. They have no problem to worship three daughters of Allah. And by the way, Muhammad himself, he worshipped them. And this is what it's called satanic verses. You can go and read about it. So who is Allah? I encourage all the Muslims to leave comment for us. And I challenge you to find one of them. People watch carefully. Watch the comment section. Who is the Muhammad and can give us an answer? What the word Allah mean? If you say to me the creator, well, this is stupid of you to say. Because 
The creator is what he do. Allah is a name. A-L, God, Lah. So, what the name mean? I'm not asking you what he do. If he said to me he's big, I am not asking you if he's small or tiny or big. If you say to me he knows best, I don't think so. You know, Allah, he did not even know how the baby is created. He think it's coming from the sperm became a congealed of the blood and the sperm is coming from the ribs of the women and the backbone of the man. So don't give, don't give me answers are funny and stupid. The name, the name, what the word Allah mean? God, la, we got it. Al mean God. La is the name of that God. Who is a Muslim when I tell us? You will find an idiot saying to you, Allah is generic generic word for the word God. That is stupid to say. Even the Muslims themselves don't agree. This is why when you say Shahada, you have to say there's no God but Allah. You don't say there's no God but God. You say no God but Allah. Why? You are naming that God. So don't go there if you are a fool and you have too much diarrhea. So we are waiting for the, mass, the answers. And let us see if any one of them be my witness. They don't know. Who want to make a challenge? Who want to make a challenge? He think that Muslims have an answer. They will not. They are copy paste religion from others. Muhammad says so. The Prophet says so. That's it. Why the Prophet says so? Allah knows best. It's like when we asked him the other day in the Islamic website chat, why the Prophet, he kissed the black stone? The guy, he said to me, because it is holy. And I said, why it's holy? He said, because the Prophet kissed it. <laughs> but not a single Muhammadan dare to ask him, okay, but Prophet, why you are kissing the black stone, man? What's wrong with you? Simply, the answer is very simple. This is what the Arab used to do before Islam, and this is what the Arab they do after Islam. Muhammad trying to tempt the Arab to believe in him, says, listen, you go around the Kaaba, I go around the Kaaba. You bow down in front of the Kaaba, I bow down in front of the Kaaba. You kiss the stone, you put your head inside the vagina, I will do that too. You go between As-Safa and Marwa, I will do that too. What do you want? Anything. And he started promising everybody to go to heaven to the point even he promised the Jews and the Christian and the Sabians who worship the stars. Anyone who is a Christian, anyone who is a Jew, anyone who is a Sabian will go to heaven. And later Muhammad, when the Christians and the Jews and the Sabians did not really listen to him, he could not fool any. He decided to kill them all. But in this stage, Muhammad, he says, oh, you just believe in me as a prophet. You are a Jew? No problem, you go to heaven. You're a Christian? Oh, okay. Oh, you are a Sabi and you worship stars? No problem, you go to heaven too. <laughs> Muhammad, if he met at that time Prophet Zucchini, he will promise him heaven in order to make Prophet Zucchini believe or accept him as a prophet. So this religion, who keep repeating words without even knowing what they are saying, like Tawheed, you ask a Muslim, what do you believe? Tawheed. Do you know what Tawheed means, unification? How even you use that word to plead? To, you you want to prove to us that you are a monotheist by saying the word Tawheed, you idiot? Anyone who speaks Arabic knows that Tawheed means unification. So if Allah is one, then you are unifying what? And this is why we see in the Quran, in different verse, where Allah he said, if we would like to take a partner, <coughs> If we like to take a partner in the chapter of Al-Anbiya, which means the prophets, if you would like to take a partner, which means a wife or a son or etc., by having a wife, you will have a son, right? So if we like to take a partner, then we have a choice to take it from ourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is not good. I, you know, I promised yesterday I will not come online, right? I mean, I, I promised myself to fight it. But I could not when I saw a Muslim making a comment. So I wanted to give them some what they deserve. 
Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us. How Allah is one, and now he want to have sex with Mr. Us or Mrs. Us. When you ask the Muslims, hey, how oh, you believe in oneness of God, Allah want to take a partner from us. Who's us? And then the Muslims, they start giving you all the recycle collection they have in their dumpster. Oh Allah, here is saying, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from us. Okay, what does that mean? Like from us. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, with us, uh, you know, us, you know, okay, so uh, we asked you before, why Allah keeps saying we? You said Allah, he say we because he's a majestic. Okay, but that's mean that Allah, when he say we, it fit for him more to be more than one because he himself, he loved to be we. I mean, look at this idiot. The Muslim, they say to us that he is one, yet he keeps saying we. Okay, why you say we? Because it's more suitable for Allah. Okay, so it's more suitable for Allah to fake himself from being I to be we. This is fake. This is a fake we. Is he we or I? Muhammadan. Any of the black stone kissers are here, or wouldn't you know, feel free to answer. Is Allah a real we or fake we? If he is one, this is a fake we. If the one who makes decisions in the heaven and the earth is not only Allah, that's mean this is a real we. And then when Allah, Mr. We or Mr. Bean, he says, I'm going to take a partner from us. So now we have double we. Because Allah we, which Muslim they say it's majestic, will not work no more. Because now Allah will have sex with a partner in order to have a son. And she is a wife. And for sure, if you ask the Muslim, what is the gender of Allah? They will be in trouble again. The Quran saying, it is he, it is he, it is he. Uh, Christian Prince, what is the gender of Jesus? Well, Jesus came as a man. Okay, it is he. He. Okay, you're God. Is he he? Or she? Or he is he she? Maybe she he. Maybe she's kebab. So, the religion of she she, shu shu, Allah knows best, is nothing but a pagan practice try to fool people with the miracle of the Quran when the Quran is the most silly stupid book ever in history read my books on love so who's Allah I will stop here so we will not make it long as I try man this is a I accomplished to make it 40 minute only that is short oh man that's really good I broke the record from five, six hours of broadcasting to 40 minutes. Good. Uh, that's wonderful. Amazing. Unbelievable. So, guys, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. We love the Muslims. We want to save them, pray for them. There are poor people who have been misled, been deceived. And, you know, the poor is not the one who don't have money. The poor is the one who is blinded by someone. They call him lah. And even in him in his Quran, he says that I am going to blind them. I am going to seal their heart. I am going to seal their ears. I am going to seal their anything to, 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 to know the truth. He said that clearly in the Quran in chapter 2, verse number 7. That is the devil. Well, Jesus says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So Jesus, he did not say, if you are sick, I will make you sick. He said, if you are sick, I'm coming to save you. Muhammad saying, my God, if you are sick, oh, he will make you more sick. And not only that, Allah in chapter 5, verse 14, he said he will spread hatred and enmity. And he said the same in many verses in the Quran between the Christians, between the Jews, all over, because he is the devil. If you ask yourself, who is the one who likes to spread hatred? The answer is very simple. Even the Quran says, who is the one who spread hatred? 
Muslim, do you know what the Quran says about those who spread hatred? The same chapter of the devil Muhammad. Chapter 5, verse number 91. It says, Shaitan, he only spread hatred and enmity. But in the same chapter, Allah, he says, I spread hatred and enmity. <laughs> chapter 5, verse number 64. Like, what the heck? So in verse number 91, he says, Shaitan, he spread hatred and enmity. In the same chapter 564, and we have put enmity and hatred among them until the day of resurrection. Do you see it? And then again in the same chapter, verse number 14, chapter 5, verse 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So Shaitan Muhammad Allah, Aka Allah, he gave us the answer from the Quran. In verse number 91, the one who spread hatred is shaitan. Verse number 14, the one who spread hatred is Allah. Do you see it? And verse number 64, the one who spread hatred is Allah too. Allah is shaitan. From the Quran, proven, sealed, served. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again, maybe today or tomorrow. 44 minutes, better we stop. God bless you. Pray for the Muslims. Pray for their salvation. Pray that the Lord open their hearts so shaitan, Allah will not blind them. He is the devil. He is the pimp who promised you a lot of women and sex in heaven. Is it obvious that this is the devil? Imagine somebody knock at your door. I am a prophet, my name is Muhammad. If you believe in me, I will make your penis endless and will never go limp. What kind of a filthy prophet we are talking about? That is a pimp from Playboy Station. The Playboy God, the Playboy Prophet, the penis God cannot be God. This is a pure sexual religion. Play with your temptation from the west and down, from your belly down to your private part. Gold and silver, that is their God. Our God, he says, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. What Jesus means, you will be free. You will be free from temptation. You will be free from needs. You will be free from need of food, of sex, of money, of gold and silver. You will be free. With Jesus, we are free. With Muhammad, you are a slave of your testicles. With Jesus, you are free from every need. With Muhammad, you are buried with sex. You became a sex maniac. You became a food maniac. You became a gold maniac. You are addicted and you are in drugs. With Jesus, we are free. With Muhammad, you are dead. I am a Christian and I follow the living God, Jesus the Christ. You are a Muslim. You follow the dead Muhammad. What say you? Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince. If you like to join us on Patreon, feel free, so you can be updated when we go live on air, and always you can get fast notification. God bless, thank you, and see you soon. Take care.